Hello, we are at 1009 Hillaway Circle in Burnsville, um, kind of on the southwest side of Buck Hill. Here's the property at the end of the cul-de-sac, so uh, the front of this property is actually looking north, um, so in the direction the camera's looking is, is south. We'll take a pan around the cul-de-sac here. There's a water tower up behind Buck Hill. That's the mailbox. And looking west to the neighboring property, we'll get a view um, of that uh, a view of that view when we get inside and go around the deck. But let's take a quick look outside. Obviously, we got brick uh, and stucco. Um, you got the wood shakes for the roof. Obviously, pretty old condition. Um, but I don't know much about wood shakes and how long they last, so can't really comment then um, just regular wood siding um, on other parts of the house. Three car garage, I'm sitting in front of one of the stalls, but three car garage, driveway is concrete and in good condition. Um, got some large trees close to the front of the house, but uh, Nicely done. Let's go check it out. Different kind of layout in this place for sure. Walk into this entry. There's a view where we just came. And in this entryway we've got just the tiled floors. And it's just kind of this little platform you can go um, upstairs. There are three bedrooms and a couple bathrooms up there. Um, there's a little powder room here, right off of the entryway. This door goes into the laundry, main level laundry we'll take a look at when we put the rest of the house. So, you know, the finish in this, finishes in this are all pretty old. You got like this, I don't know, periwinkle blue uh, toilet, matching sink for my countertop. So the finishes certainly probably aren't the primary concern, more kind of the, uh, the layout and condition. So we'll Take a look around. So you come in here, and from this platform where the entry is, you've got this front room uh, with these windows, brick fireplace. Uh, looks like it's been, might probably be uh, wood burning, but it's been converted to gas. The floor is white. We've just got the wood subfloor here, and I'm gonna guess that uh, but they've ripped it all. <laughs> Obviously, they've ripped out all the carpet, but probably sprayed that anti-mold uh, stuff down, which is why a lot of the exposed areas are white. You got this cool um, vaulted ceiling with the knotty pine. Pretty cool. Um, and looking back at the entry, there's where we came in over there. It's a stairway to the upper level. So we've got a little balcony and a two-story entry there. Um, and then this is the hallway. We got the kitchen over here um, and kind of another living room on the main level. So let's, let's look into the kitchen and dining area. Got some wood floors in here, some crazy wallpaper, um, picture window, bay picture window looking out over the neighbor's property. Pretty good lot actually. Um, good separation and privacy from the neighbors. And here's the house, good slope uh, to the back. Obviously, these windows actually seem fairly decent. I couldn't see a brand name, but they don't seem to be in, in horrible condition, for the most part, functional. Um, so, large dining room. And again, we've got a hallway here, and then the entrance to the kitchen and the informal dining. We have a sweet wood inlay on the floor, pretty fancy. Let's go with the Formica countertops over here. Um, it's got that. Uh, that uh, fluorescent uh, drop ceiling here, fluorescent light drop ceiling. Um, uh, fluorescent lights are, for the most part, burnt out, but that's pretty sweet. Um, anyway, so here's kind of the layout of the kitchen as I stand in the middle of it. And, um, from my countertops, it's like oak cabinets. Little window above the sink, kind of the hanging cupboards at the little island here. Into that's back to the hallway that we we're looking at. We've got an informal dining area here. Um, with a little window to the living room. So here's a little informal area, actually pretty big. 
Um, we got a window to the side. Looking back at the room we just came from, kind of laid out like this. Side window. So even out the side, you really don't look into the neighbors, which is great. Opens up into this other living room area with a deck. Window on this side. And it's just kind of a long room with another uh, fireplace at the end. Got two sliding glass doors that go to this deck. Kind of nervous to go on this deck um, just because it's like 30 feet, um, the support. I mean, it's steep when you get back here. Um, and we are looking nearly directly south. Um, so that's kind of where downtown Lakeville is and you can barely hear the hum of uh, 35. So a nice view from this deck, although one thing to consider is certainly um, it's March now, but as that sun gets higher in the sky and hotter, um, the mid midsummer facing south on this deck, it's going to be pretty scorching and dry out here. Um, here's a view of how high we are. I mean, this is pretty high. Feels higher than it might look on this camera, trust me. Um, and I'm sure these trees fill in pretty well, which would probably provide some good shade in the summertime, and maybe it's a maybe it's a good balance to get a lot of light and extra heat in the winter, some shade uh, in the summer. So, anyway, there's neighboring properties. This is obviously part of our house. Something creeping around down there. I'm not sure what it is. Um, and here's a neighboring property. So, kind of on. Um, like this bowed cul-de-sac so you're really not looking at anybody here's the uh the siding of the house that's the master bedroom we'll see in a minute that hole upstairs that's um the master bathroom master bedroom only three bedrooms upstairs so let's go back inside the siding is again feels to be real well no maybe it might be some masonite there um textured masonite but looks like it's been painted taken care of for the most part um, this is great. So you got this living room, right? Over here is the kitchen where you've got a gigantic refrigerator and a sink and whatnot. But if you need to be really fancy, you don't want to do without, you know, the secondary wet bar, even though it's only five feet away from the fridge and the sink in there. But there you go. You've got another wet bar over here, which is pretty fancy. Um, glass cabinets, wet bar, a little fridge underneath, and a countertop. And I guess I can't complain. This would be pretty cool to, to hang out on and look out um, over the view. So, wet bar off the living room, long hallway. Here is the laundry room that we got a peek at um, from that powder room that we came in at. Here's the garage, I would presume. I haven't been out here yet. Big three car garage. Um, yeah, full size in, in all directions. So, it's, it's large out here. That third stall isn't uh, just a little stall, it's a full size stall. Laundry, flare some lights. So back in the hallway we go. And uh, one last look at this room, we'll go upstairs. Try to hurry up so we don't run out of time on the video here. So here we are on the entry. And again, we got this stairway to the three bedrooms upstairs. Check them out. We'll look at the secondary bedrooms pretty quickly. We got or this white paint stuff on the floor, similar windows to downstairs. And a pretty good size room, I don't know, maybe 11 by 12 in here. Regular closet. And another bedroom right off the hallway. This one, I'm not sure if this, I mean, this isn't really red, it's kind of like a pinkish red. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, side view, and again, um, a little bigger than the last one, maybe, maybe 13 by 14 feet in here. Um, double closets. Check out this bathroom. This is the shared bathroom for this level. You got this uh, marble style tile and like a mauve um, from like a countertop with more of this blue. Um, yeah, this is pretty sweet. Um, crazy wallpaper in here. You got a little walk in shower with more of this marble tile. Um, and then you step up to the throne. And beyond that is this good old-fashioned hot tub, um, circular hot tub with a little bench. Um, so it's a bathtub, it's a hot tub, it's got a window looking out over the driveway. Um, and this, if you remember that little turret 
um, from the outside, that little conical uh, feature of the house, that's is it. This master, or not even the master bathroom, but just this uh, hot tub in here. So, there we go. All right. One more room here. This is a master bedroom that we saw. Here's a walk-in closet. It's big. Um, the room is pretty big. And as we saw from the deck, we've got this vaulted ceiling and this extra window um, above the main picture window. So this is a big room. Um, these are mirrors. I got plenty of mirrors in here. So vaulted. Anyway. Pretty nice view out here. This would be looking east into Lakeville. This would be looking south. And with all these trees, I bet, bet it gets pretty, pretty, um, pretty shaded here when those leaves fill in. There's the deck below. Um, French doors into the master bathroom. Kind of got this faded pink uh, jacuzzi hot tub thing here. Another little step up. Nice big window overlooking the trees and off to the south. It's pretty cool. Um, wood floors, and it's just a vanity. Uh, and, and don't worry that there's only a, a single sink there because there's a whole other countertop here with another sink separated. Um, and a uh, toilet over here, some cabinetry, and we got a shower. So, separate shower, not very fancy, not even as, as fancy as the last one, but. Anyway, nice big room, um, nice big bathroom. That is the upstairs. You get one little view out this window. You can, there you can see. We'll zoom in. That's 35 right there. Off of probably 175th Street out there in the Lakeville exit. Okay. Or actually, that may be Highway 46. In any case, heading down kind of this narrow hallway. There, it's brighter with light. Got this balcony overlooking that front room, and we'll go downstairs. So from the main level, we got that front room. Remember the dining room, kitchen, kind of the hallway down here, and uh, here's the way to the basement. Similar floor space to the upper level, the foundation is large. And here we've got a lookout window. We've got a nice light for the pool table that's no longer here. Another fireplace. And uh, see, this isn't a wet bar, it's just a bar. So maybe they should have plumbed this and brought the wet bar down here, put a little fridge in there so you can have a beer while you're playing pool. Um, Another bedroom. So this would actually be the fourth bedroom. Um, obviously it's in the basement. There we got a little, probably qualify as an egress um, to the side of the house. A couple closets. We're gonna right down the hallway. We've got, what's in here? Oh yeah, this weird scary room that I was in. Um, it's got this insulation, this shiny reflective insulation on the wall. I don't know why. Um, that's about it. Um, copper pipes are still intact, which is great. This house has been vacant for a long time. Um, here's the shared bathroom on this level. It's a full bath, so if you got a guest staying in that uh, third bath, fourth bedroom, some crazy wallpaper, kind of standard uh, fiberglass insert bathtub. We got another room that uh, you know with the closets you may think would qualify as a, as a fifth bedroom, but when you see the wall of mirrors over here, you're gonna realize that this is probably the jazzercise room. You get the mount for the, uh, um, the little TV on the wall over there, and you get these carefully placed mirrors that as you can see, almost, you know, give a clear image. Um, and a jazzercise room. And finally, We've got the uh, living room here at the end with a walkout, um, about the same size as the upstairs living room, uh, minus the wet bar. Another fireplace, wood burning. Um, we look out window into the back, and we've got the walkout to the patio. 
So here we are on the walkout level. Um, good place to get a nice view and throw your empty water bottles and all kind of garbage um, down the side of this hill. Uh, maybe the leaves will cover it. I don't know. Um, air conditioning unit. Uh, we got more. Uh, another look at the uh, the siding here. Looks to be in decent condition. I'll take a little peek on the corner. See if there's anything to see over here. Um, it's a little door from the back of the garage. Get another view of those shakes. And uh, yeah. So certainly not a lot a lot of yard to cover back here. Um, I can be doing a lot of mowing. Um, but I go. Oh, it's a basement. Jazzercise room. Bathroom. Oh, look. Miss the utility room. And here we got a Lennox furnace. Dual water heaters that look to be in pretty good condition. Water softener, etc. So the mechanicals seem pretty decent. Jazzercise. And uh, mystery room. Fourth bedroom, um, billiard room, upstairs. All right, so back to the front room here. And again, this has been 1009 Hillaway Court in Burnsville. Thanks for watching.